welcome back to the channel guys it is me aed sub at 44 so today guys i'm gonna give you guys my review of qatar 3 uh lebanon nil give you guys quick and short because there's only one match today i'm gonna go a bit more in depth of course you know spend like around um three to five minutes i'm not gonna do 10 minutes because there's only one game today so tomorrow there will be 10 minutes though for the asian cup and of course um, i'll probably do the I, I, i've con one probably like a short one but anyways getting back to this game here um Qatar for me were the dominant team. I think they were the dominant team for most of this game, and they looked really well. I think Akram Afif and Almas Ali played really well. And for me, the Qatar team for me, I'm still not impressed. I'm still not impressed because it feels like for me with Qatar that these two players have to perform. If Qatar is going to go far in this tournament, it's going to be these two players because the rest of the team I'm not convinced with. The rest of the team I'm not convinced with. Shout out to the goalkeeper though. The goalkeeper made some good saves early in the first, ha the late in the first half. And for me, that first goal, man. The first goal that was scored was actually just allowed right right decision. It was offside, clearly. And then the second goal that actually counted was a nice goal, man. A nice goal outside the box. Great, great goal there from Afif. That's an amazing goal there outside the box. And the second goal, man, the, the defending from Lebanon, man. They allowed him way too much space, and Ali scored the header there. And that third goal, man, what a run that was from Akram Afif and stoppage time to seal it. And for Lebanon, as I said, guys, they were just not good enough on the day. They really didn't create enough quality chances, in my opinion. And they were way too passive. And um, they um, committed players forward. And even though they had that good spell after Qatar scored the second goal, they just didn't have enough quality to penetrate. And so for Qatar win, with this win, I think it's safe to say that Qatar will probably advance, most likely as group winners. And um, as for Lebanon, their best hope is third place. Like, third place is probably the more realistic ambition. Uh, because they have to play, of course, chi uh, China to Tajikistan. So I do think Lebanon did get the hardest game out of the way, but at the same time, the goal difference, man, could be very bad. Because for me personally, Lebanon should have scored those chances they created in the second half. They should have scored one or two of those chances in the second half, and they created really good chances. But unfortunately, uh, like I said, they just didn't. They just did. They didn't pose enough quality. And like I said, I just think they have to be a bit more attack minded because for me most of this game they were defensive they were playing on the counter attack and i think uh qatar enjoyed that and exploited that so yeah man i'm like i said man it's going to be interesting to see what happens and here and so for lebanon man like i said they're trying to advance in the group they failed to do so in 2019 and they're going to try to do this again here so in this edition so i want to know what you guys think in the comments below guys do you guys think uh qatar is a real deal do you guys think Lebanon is going to go out the group stage again? Just let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and I think I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. I was going to do five minutes, but I really don't have a lot to say, so we're going to keep this three minutes, I suppose. So remember, guys, to like and subscribe, and we're going to be doing a live stream. Uh, we're going to be doing a live stream of this on Tuesday to recap all of Match Day 1, and then obviously um, from there. So like I said, guys, we'll be doing Twitter space in around 10 minutes' time, so feel free to join me then to break down this game. All right, peace out, guys.